So here are going to be some of the tools you need to perform this job. For starters, you're going to need a T20 Torx bit. You're going to need your replacement fluid, which is mineral oil, a brake bleeding kit, and a pair of pliers to help for getting the fittings off. So the first step is going to be removing the top fill bolt off of the brake handlebars. Now the next step you want to do is do the same for this front brake caliper. It is located right above the adjustment screw. Now keep in mind when you remove this lower screw, it is going to start to leak out brake fluid. So what you want to do is take a paper towel and tuck it underneath it to hopefully catch some of the drip. Now, after you get that, you want to find the appropriate fittings that fit in the threads. You want to screw it in until it's hand tight. And then you want to find the adapter for the top one and screw that into the top. Then you want to take your bucket and screw that onto the top. And then the next step you want to do is attach your hose to your bottom barb fitting and apply some suction. So the next step you want to do is take your mineral oil and fill up your bucket. After you've filled your bucket, you want to grab your syringe and apply some suction. Then you want to remove the little plunger on the bucket and cycle your brake a couple of times, keeping suction with your plunger. Once you stop seeing large bubbles coming through the hose, you can go ahead and remove it. Now, after you remove the hose, you wanna go ahead and remove your fitting from the brake caliper. Reinstall the screw that you removed to begin with. After you get that screw put back in, go ahead and give the top one more squeeze. And then the next step you want to do is put the plunger back in your bucket on the top. Make sure to squeeze down tight to hopefully get a good seal. Then you want to unscrew the bucket and then remove your fitting from the bucket. And then reinstall that top screw we removed in the beginning. and you will see a significant improvement on your brakes. Now, when you go to do the rear, the bleeding process is gonna be the exact same. The only key difference is going to be your bleed screw is right here.